Hello, my name is M. Jason Graham, and this is, in under five minutes, Story Credibility. So I have for you here just a few guidelines on what is necessary in order to have a credible story. The first thing that you need is that it requires a series of character interactions in order to resolve the story. So we know that a, a story action is a group of characters actions that lead to the achievement of one character's ambition. Therefore, if they, a series of interactions does not occur, it's not actually a story. It has to build toward someone achieving their ambition. The second thing is the characters must discover information required to resolve the story during the course of it. So, it's very simple. If they start with all of the information that they need, that's going to be a very short story. It's going to be a very boring story. They're not going to really have to try anything because they'll have all the information, all the data. So you want to be able to sprinkle that reasonably and meaningfully through the story. Let the characters d discover things, because when they discover things, the audience discovers things. Number three, the communities must suffer a degree of consequence from the characters' pursuit of their ambitions. Why? Because the characters are using the resources of their communities in order to help them achieve that ambition. So, <clears throat> It is about the character's responsibility. A character who goes through and abuses their community by, say, enslaving them so that they can, the slaves can dig gold from the mines or whatever, that carries an effect on the community that is felt in the course of the story. All of that is very important. Remember, it's, it's not just the character themselves, but their connection to the people around them. We're talking about epic story. Finally, the characters must have a reasonable exit strategy. So, <clears throat> none of this, uh, we killed him and that was it. No. None of this, we have him trapped, he's... He's down, he's, uh, he's pinned down. We're simply going to blow him up. Your character can go all out because they've literally th thought through everything. And so that means that they have a plan in place for if something should happen so that they can get a chance to take a breath and maybe maybe try again. This is very important. Of course you don't want to give them an escape strategy that's like, oh, he teleported away. Okay, two things wrong with that. One, if you don't have the technology or magic to do something like that, then it doesn't make any sense. Two, if you do have something like that, that's terrific, but it should only happen once during the story. When you come back, whoever it is, your antagonist, the protagonist, whoever it was, should have a counter to it because that's something that they didn't Consider, and remember, that's a complication, they recoil, they do an assessment, they come back and they deal with that. So only do things like that once. There you have it. Those are my guidelines for, credible, uh, uh, for story credibility. My name is M. Jason Graham, and this has been In Under Five Minutes. In Under Five Minutes is brought to you by MJGStoryCreation.com. Go to mjgstorycreation.com and get your free one-hour assessment. Turn your idea into an epic story today. I'll see you next time.